All right, Kiss 108 in the afternoon. You got Romeo, got a few, uh, I don't really know what they're doing here. A couple guys, they stop by to say, hey, what's up, fellas? What's Yo. going down? The Romeo. new kids in the block are back in the house. On the block. Oh, back on the block. Yeah, right. baby. Back on the block in the house. Well, welcome back. This is this is home for you guys. Yep. All right, so so take us through everything. You you guys were on the Today Show uh, this morning. You announced the big the big comeback, the big reunion, mm-hmm. and Kiss Concert 2008. Yep. So let's talk about that. That's that's like a, a homecoming. What is not really much of a secret, or wasn't much of a secret, but we announced it anyway just to make it official. Yeah. What happened? People. People kind of let that go. People.com. Um. Yeah. Well, we've been working, recording for about six months, and uh, you know there was little buzz starting to get out. And People.com leaked the story, which was incredible because the response was insane, and it really uh, created a new wave of energy for this whole thing. Um, where our focus was mainly on just putting the music together and making a great album. You know, it just it turned into a whole other thing, and. Um, you know, but what happened is after the rush of information and excitement after that announcement, you know, and, and getting a million hits on our website within a week, you know, the, the energy and confusion started to creep in. So we figured we should just come out and let all the fans know that, yes, it is, in fact, for real before they start right. holding up the old new kids sheets and putting them back in the storage. Uh, I know. They whipped them all out. <laughs> all my interns are like, yeah, I used to sleep on these sheets. It just sounds dirty when they say it. I used to sleep on it. <laughs> oh, great. Yeah. <laughs> They're all grown up now, you see. So it's right. really nice to imagine that. I want to play something for you. This is from uh, Kiss Concert 7. And this is uh, Sonny Joe White, a DJ who uh, you probably know who worked here. Hey, buddy. And, so... Uh, yeah, that's right. And uh, and Maurice started and listen to this. This was before you guys, you know, had had really become as, as big as you did. Say. Whoop, wrong button. Let's try this one. That sounded good for <laughs> that had- the Maurice new kiss of the block. Their new song, uh, "Be My Girl." And you wrote that? I uh, wrote it and produced it and arranged it. And uh, I think it's going to be a big one. And they have a lot of class, these guys. I saw them when about two weeks ago. I met three of them for the first time. They're young, good-looking kids. So you think this is going to be one of your hottest bands out of Boston today? I think it's going to be the hottest group, uh, along with Phaedra Butler. I got it from my girl Phaedra. But I think uh, they're going to be the hottest group in America. And one of the hottest groups I've ever worked with in my life. How does that make you he feel? He knew. He knew. Oh my God! That was. Let me see. That was 1986. So what's that? 86. Yeah. yeah. Really? That was like 22 years ago. So I was told you guys were supposed to play. What was it? Kiss concert like 14, and then you know for whatever reason I guess you guys Aww. broke up like just before that. Well, we they, never we never really like said it was it was official. You know what I mean? A lot of things were happening. You know when it was sort of the end of our first you know go round together and. Uh, you know, sometimes it, things get crossed up, and we we sort of felt bad because if if Kiss thought that we said we were gonna do it and then didn't, we felt bad that they thought we like backed out at the last minute and we didn't. But if that was the case, we're gonna make up for a big time this year. So if that were good. it was basically 14 year your way, but yeah, Richie Bosbo, who used to own the station. <laughs> Kind of busts our chops about that every once in a while, but but I, I I don't know. I think he knows in his heart that we weren't trying to shaft him at all. Right. So you'll be making good. We appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, We're making yeah, yeah. good. Fourteen years late. Yeah. But <laughs> good is good. It. It'll be worth it. It'll be better what, than what you would have got then. That's for sure. All right. Very cool. We are talking with uh, the new kids on the block. Can we still call you that? NKOTB. New kids on the block. What's up? Kids on the block. Man. Still right. Yeah. The block. All right. Yeah. I just want to make sure. Um, if uh, anybody wants to watch this, you can watch it. We're actually webcasting it live right now. You can see the fellas in the studio. Wave to the camera. What's up? What's up? Kiss108.com. Uh, right on the homepage, kiss108.com. And we are with the new kids on the block. All right, Kiss 108 on a Friday. If you're stuck in traffic, we will entertain you. And by we, I mean myself, Romeo, and the new kids on the block. Hello. What's going on? Uh, I want to let people know that uh, you guys have been real cool, and you said you'll take some calls. So uh, any fans you'd like to uh, talk to them or ask a question, the number is 617-931-1108 on your ride home. I, I want to get into the new stuff and, and the, the album and the tour, but uh, I'm sure everywhere you go, everybody probably says, like, I'm your biggest fan, I'm your biggest fan. They talk about, like, the old stuff. At what point did everything, like, set in for you guys? Like, oh, my God, like, how enormous it really was. Um... Mm. I remember one show, I think, when most of us realized that we were out in, like, Fresno, California, playing in, a like, an outdoor mall, which was surrounded by office buildings, and uh, we got on stage on the back of a flatbed truck, playing to cassette tapes, <laughs> and, you know, thinking it was just going to be a little a, a radio gig, you know, in some small town, and uh, the people were on rooftops, hanging out of the office windows with signs and banners, and the courtyard of the mall was 
completely overrun with fans. And I, I remember that particular time, a lot of the guys, you know, kind of looking at each other like, this looks like the Beatles, you know, the old <laughs> video clips of the Beatles. It was, it was pretty uh, overwhelming. Oh my God! Admit it, you guys got back together because you heard the Jonas Brothers, and you're like, "Yo, we can do this. We yeah. can do this. What's going yeah. on? <laughs> what? Let, let's go down." <laughs> no comment. <laughs> you were like, "The Jonas? What? Hanson? What did you guys think like during like Hanson and like NSYNC and Backstreet Boys when when all that was going on?" Mm. Well, like anybody, we just had different tastes. I mean, some groups you like, and some you, know, you probably get five different answers right here. So you know, some some music is good, and some music isn't good, but. It's, it's all subjective, but it's cool. I mean, we're we've you know bumped into a bunch of those guys along the way, and you know I'm I'm pretty friendly with Joey Fatone, and and so it's it's all good. Very good, very good. And you, I mean, you guys have been super busy anyway. With um, I think it's cool that you've been able to do uh, your solo projects and stuff in between. I mean, obviously from from movies and and TV and uh, Jordan. We were just talking about last time I saw Jordan, he was walking me down uh, Newberry Street to uh, what was it Tower Records to. Uh, yeah, you ac actually asked me about a reunion even back then. Yeah, you remember I asked and you. I pulled the uh, CD of us out. Right, <laughs> right. The record store. Yeah, we went to like Tower Records. He was showing me. His I was new like, CD. everyone's everyone's talking about it except these guys, and I held up the uh, yeah. CD of us. Right, I was asking remember? you. about it. Yeah. So at, at, let's talk about then how it all came together again. I mean, I know you guys basically went back in the studio. How, how exactly did it all get put together to get all five of you back on the same page? Uh, it's different for everyone, probably. I know for me, it was a call from Donnie, you know, that he was like, I want you to hear this song. And it was the first song that we recorded. And that's for me, I got a call from him. It's probably different for everybody. But once them lines of communication were open and the recording started, we just kind of came together and now we basically got a finished album. Oh, wow. Yeah, we've been approached every which way over the last decade, probably, you know, from VH1 to some tour promoter to Lou Pearlman, who probably <laughs> had other ideas of what he'd like to do with us. <laughs> Isn't he in jail now or something? Yeah, he likes to touch things. Uh, <laughs> the diddler. And, uh, uh, a diddler. The hit. The diddler. What's that? Hold on. Uh, uh, no, we got to. <laughs> 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 uh, but, you know, um, you know, we just... Uh, we didn't really want to do it unless it was on our terms and certainly didn't want to do it on someone else's terms and uh you know um we found a song that really uh i think caught our attention and, and seemed like if ever we were going to do it again this would be the kind of song that we would want to do and we started with that song and found another song and then wrote another song and then wrote a few other songs and have not really stopped the creative process since and um it's that one song has swelled oh, wow. into an album of incredible material that you know we feel really good about. Was this uh, this was a song you previewed this morning? Was it the summertime song? No, no, it was actually another song called "Click Click Click," which um, it, it's snippets of that are on our website nkotb.com. We're getting we're caught up to the times, man. We got a website. There was no website. <laughs> no texting. Text no uh, webcasting. No, none of that. They, the CDs were just introduced. Go buy the when our second album came out. That's <laughs> right. There were singles, singles and wax. <laughs> right. Wax was still around, and yeah. I mean, we're kind of dating ourselves here because most kids don't even know what wax is. But um, yeah, it was uh, it was a long time ago. But the song really inspired us, I think, and um, and uh, we've stayed inspired since.